Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin, and Doctor Sleep is starring you, Min uh, McGregor, and it's a story about Danny that is fully growing up, and he's basically on the run from himself, um, running away from his past annex. He's forced to help um, a um, a new person that has the sh the same exact shining as him, um, and fight off these basically these um, other people that have the shining as well, but use it in a um, evil type of way and next they have to fight these demons I guess um, so I was really looking forward to this I did a shining review uh, which by the way uh, I'm just gonna say it right in and out here you have to go see this sh you have to watch the shining to be able to understand what's going on um, in Dr. Sleep that's what I'm all gonna say right here right now thank you guys very much. <laughs> I'm sure um, but anyway so yeah I do recommend um, go and see Dr. Sleep, but first go see The Shining, go buy it at Best Buy, it's like five bucks on Blu-ray and DVD, go buy that, watch that before you go see Dr. Sleep, um, because you're going to be, you're not going to be confused, but you won't have the same impact as I did or any other people that have seen The Shining. Um, so I was really looking forward to this. Um, this film was freaking amazing. It's the best horror film of the year. And of like it's it's just really good i the problem with i have with horror films is it's just i I'm, I'm really worried that they do um the same thing over and over where they um do like okay jump scare move on to the next scene jump scare and all that in which none of that is here it's all suspense it's all it's it's just amazing like um we have um and um danny that is played by edward um, McGregor and he and he is just a broken person he's just a broken man that had a terrible childhood that um, happened to him um, back at the um, hotel and he's just been running away because he doesn't know how to fight that and it's just amazing seeing him go through um, this experience because this is a slow basically a slow paced movie at first but then it starts picking up maybe in the sake um, like at the beginning of the second act um, act it starts picking up it picks up pretty quick when it um, when it decides to start moving on because at the beginning of this film it it basically um, gives us character de development and that's what I really like about horror films it gives us what we want and besides the fan um, service the pro and which by the way with the fan service with um, him going back to the hotel that's like for 30 minutes of the film and which that's what and that's what I really like because it I, I'm glad that it was only 30 minutes. I was, I was hoping that it wasn't an hour because we already got two, like two hours in the shining. And so, and that's what I was kind of worried about because I felt like it was going to do like just fan service. And it's like, here you go. Here you go. You, 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 want, you want the um, original shining? Here you go. You want the Stephen King's shining? Here you go. That's what, I was, that's what I was kind of a little worried about. But they don't do that. I'm really happy about that because the director that did this um, knows what he's doing. He did um, the show on Netflix. Um, what's it called? The Haunted ha uh, House on the Hill, something like that. Um, it's it. I'll put a picture up. It's it's. It, he's the director of that TV show, and I believe they're planning to do a season two. I really love that show, and so if you guys really enjoyed that show, you're gonna like um, like the Doctor Sleep. But first, if you guys haven't already seen the Shining, go see that because he tries to keep everything connected with the original which i really like he tries i don't remember the director's name for the original but he tries to keep the feeling of that um of the director's original in this movie which i really like and it also feels like a stephen king movie itself um so i i just really like this i like rebecca in this film she plays the villain um she plays this character where she always um um she, like she plays this character like um uh, she's a um, leader of this um, com um, what's it called like cult and she's basically going around taking um, the shining from these other I just really like it especially from the um, young actress um, that's basically starring in this film she does a freaking amazing job she's easily the best part um, I can't wait to see what she has in stored in the future with other um, movies or shows whatever she's planning to do because she's really good really like that and it what the problem is I had with the shining is it it men it mentions um, um, Danny's like shine, but it doesn't go into any 
detail with it at all. It was basically just focusing on the haunted um, hotel. And that's why I really like this one a little bit more than The Shining, because one, The Shining wasn't, it. first of all, The Shining said it was like the best horror film of, like in um, history, which The Shining's creepy, but it isn't scary. This one actually has like good scares and and a couple actually got me. And there weren't jump scares, like there's some in this, but they earned it. They earned the jump scares. They earned um, the character, um, what, uh, like the character situations. Cause they actually gave us time with these characters and I freaking loved it. And I thank them for it. Cause it's just, without this like first hour of this movie, that this would have sucked. It would have freaking sucked because with um, Danny being on the run from himself, if it just plopped us in, like with um, Danny be like, fine, I'll help you. It'd been like, but but you were just like, like moaning and scared. Like what? Like it, it would have made no sense. So um, like, it, I really liked it. And what holds this film was Rebecca, but her character, it, and that's the thing is it gives us time to spin with these villains we got to get their uh, we understand their motive we understand why they need to get um this girl and so and so it made the make us understand their motives and i really liked it because i was like okay i don't like it made me like i don't know who i, I want to like root for i wanted to kind of root for both sides because kind of feel bad for these guys but i don't know how, but I wish what they could have done is like told us how did they get into the situation? It's like, why are they like this? And I would have um, liked it a little bit more. But uh, what we got is really good. I really do recommend going out and seeing this. Bring a date, um, bring your, uh, I, I don't know, do it. Just, just go <laughs> and see it. Um, so I really enjoyed this. Um, Honestly, I have no idea what else to say without spoiling it. The fan service, if you guys want fan service, that's all gonna be at the end because but it will pay off. I tell I'm just believe me, it will pay off when it gets to the point because it's so freaking amazing. It's really great. And that's the problem I have with films, it's just I hate when they put fan service and like oh it's alright to splink uh, like sprinkle it throughout the film, but where like there's movies like where it's just constantly fan service throughout the whole entire thing and it's just it ruins the movie and people complain it's like okay i want fan service and next they go and see the movie and it gives them fan service and they come out it's like wow that was shit it's like well no dirt you you as asked for fan service not character development so it's like you can't get both and they try to keep both and and um and make sure they can make everyone happy and which I really enjoy. There's one part, um, it's like, uh, involves like a gun. It's like that kind of felt a little out of place, but I was kind of fine with that uh, at first, but then, uh, well, it, it, it's a little, it's, it felt a little unsettling, but it, it, didn't, it doesn't ruin the film for me. And so I really do like this. If you guys like actually good movies, <laughs> for one, so, um, go see this. I'm gonna give Doctor Sleep a A minus. I really like it better than The Shining, in my opinion. The Shining, uh, uh, I don't know. It's I don't know why, but it's, The Shining has a little issues. Um, so I give The Shining like a B plus. So it's it's up there still. But I I would rather watch this over The Shining. I'm definitely gonna go out and buy this. Anyway, go see this. I 100% recommend this. It's a whole entire of fun. You guys, you get good scares get character development, and you get really um, great acting. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.